What's up, guys? I'm here with Anthony and Big D. We're here in the Nug Smasher factory inside the Smash Lab. We're here with the Nug Sifter today. And the name of this episode is 600 into 6,000, right? So the whole idea is we're gonna take a $600 pack right here. We separated uh, 14 grams out of it here to run through the IQ for some rosin. Then we're gonna run it through the sifter, which will grind a lot of it. We're gonna put some dry ice in there. It'll grind a lot of it, give it a lot of keep, and we're gonna pack a bunch of can of gars and show you how to turn $600 into 6,000. Stay tuned. What uh, micron do you use in there, Emily? 90. 90 micron bag. We're, we're, all we're doing is we're getting some flour rosin here, guys, to, to use with our, uh, with, well, with Big D's Primos. That's what we're calling them. It's a can of gar. If you guys don't know about that, these things will burn for 45, 50, 60 solid minutes, uh, depending on how many, how much you pack in there. But three and a half gram or burn for how long, Dave? Usually 45 minutes. 45 solid, man. So you put a glass tip on it. Ten people. I mean, just gets it handled. Um, so anyhow, if you've never experienced uh, a Big D Primo a Canagar, you must because. The way that we make our canagars is a great way to indulge in your cannabis. It's a great way to keep it around. You can fire them back up, rewrite, relight them. We like to make it with glass tips and put some rosin and everything in them. So let's uh, pause and see what the hell good. All right, so hopefully, you know, it's only a $600 pack, so hopefully we get some good rosin out of this, decent rosin. And uh, we're going to use it for some snakes inside, right, D? And then we're going to take the rest of this pack and we're going to put it in the sifter, guys, with some dry ice. We're going to make a bunch of keef. Not dry sift, but keef. And it's going to help us also um, uh, grind the buds up uh, so that we have to do minimal grinding when we uh, when we pack all these canagars. And then we're going to put everything all back right in the product. Show you how we make our primos and so show you how badass you really can. So you can turn 600 into 6,000. And the simple math of that is 453 grams right in a pound. Okay, if you take three and a half grams and divide it by 453, you get 129. 129 um, for a full on Primo that burns 45 minutes. I mean, I think a retail and something like that, giving it away is like a 75 to 90, right? Yes, it is. Which means your wholesale is about 45 to 50. 50 times 129 is $6,500. There's that. So 600 into 6,000. Yeah. Nothing that we do here, we only make product, nothing, uh, no controlled substance for sale, ever, here at Nug Smasher. But man, if you're, having, you're not shopping at Nug Smasher, get over there right now at NugSmasher.com. We're having some crazy, crazy deals going on at the website right now. NugSmasher.com for all of your needs or authorized dealers. You can find them out there, just Google Nug Smasher. Also sold on Amazon. Made in America. Special code. That's not bad, too bad. Look at Special code today. Shit. Like how it's funneling. Shit. Yeah, the co there is a code on there that automatically applies online. It's Memorial 23. Memorial 23 is the discount code. Damn, man. That's not. Man, I don't know if I want to. Maybe we'll just smash all this shit in our own. Yeah. 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 At least we know there's something in there. <laughs> Woo. Smells delicious. All right. Anthony's going to collect all that up in, in preparation for Big D's Canagar so he has a snake. Well, let's load the, the rest of this. What do you think? Let's do it. Real easy to load this thing. The drum uh, is all made out of aircraft grade aluminum. Even the, even the door. Uh, Cool fire in the room. I'll do that. You, you definitely did. Is that okay what I'm doing? I can't see it. And it's locked in position. I didn't move it. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, that's what's great about this, this stainless funnel, guys. It locks in position on the sifter drum so you can do this with ease. And then now, we're going to leave it there again. Now we're going to put a couple pounds of dry ice in on top of it. That'll just really. Help the heads fall off a bit real easy. 
and then we're going to collect that uh, good stuff, and then we're going to go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and grind the rest of it up. Oh, sorry about that. Don't touch it. Welcome. Yeah, if you guys don't work with dry ice, it will burn your ass. I think that's pretty good for now, buddy. Go ahead and throw that lid back on there. Put the thumb screws back in and see if we can't get us a little. Don't be in front. All right. And you know, people use these sifters for all kinds of stuff, so this is really showing you one of the uses. One of my favorite uses is out of live material um, or pre pre trimmed material. You can. Uh, Oh, let me get that. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, wow. First few minutes of this will be the best, uh, actually the best product. You can see all the keep coming out there. We're going to stop this after about two or three minutes of use and then collect what we have and then we'll let we'll let it continue until the dry ice is mostly gone. And over here the, the, the rosin collection looks good, Anthony. Yeah. Jeez. Now that where we put all that in the Yeah. Okay. So how many uh are we planning on doing? The whole uh, pack. Oh wow. 129. <laughs> Sifting, but we need up sifting. Um, we make a multitude of, of, of different types of micron bags for it, uh, customers needs. But I think we're about done for a second. D, let's collect this. Now what I like to do is just pull it out. You need me? Come on in. Just pull it out like this. You, as long as you have a sifter card, you can kind of see how that works, you guys. See that? And we'll let this continue to run because we want to grind this up. And now all of this is going to end up back in these joints, you guys. Pair these these primos. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. You can see how easy it is to collect, you guys. And it will dry out just like sand here in no time. So this was just for, what was it, maybe three or four minutes we were running that. So that would be a whole different quality. We're gonna just set it right there in a big pile. Stick that there, throw this tray back in. It's kind of fun, we don't show this thing off much, so it's fun to show it off. Now we're going to let that do that probably for another 10-15 minutes until all the dry ice is gone. And then we'll see what we're left with in bud. And then we're going to grind the rest of that bud up, add the key fat to it and make some, we'll show you how we make our primos. And then take the rosin that Anthony's uh, coining over there and show you how we can snake them and keep them and do all that good stuff. But 600 into 6,000. Stay tuned guys. Okay guys, so we'll let this run a little while longer. Um, you know, we don't want to completely pulverize the flour, but you know, we have to grind it up anyway. All the keep and, and whatnot is all going back in our primos with that slab of rosin. So you can also see that slab of rosin that we got here that Anthony got out. We peeled that off first, ran it through the next measure IQ to get that. And um, you know, 600 into 6,000. This is probably gonna be a three part series. So stay tuned.
Next, guys, Big D's gonna show you how he does his primos. Our famous Canagar, stick around.